Hello, and welcome back to another Trace Dots and Darts video. In this video, I'll be talking about the history of the Tangent Route, which is London's first cross city railway. The beginning of the Thames Link Route. In 1861, the Metropolitan Railway started to build the pair of lines known as the Widen Lines, which were designed to link up with the Great Northern Railway, Midland Railway, and Great Western Railway. In 1866, the Metro Tennessee Railway opened the two extra tracks as part of the wire lines between London St Pancras and Moorgate via Farringdon. Also in the same year, the London Town Cross at Chatham and Dover Railway opened the line from Glatfars to Farringdon using the newly built Snow Hill Tunnels, which allowed passenger and goods trains to run from the Great Northern and Midland Railways to run to the London Chatham and Dover. Well, it wasn't just the Great Northern Midland and London Chatham and Dover Railways which used the tunnel, they also allowed other railway companies to use it. In 1871, an eastern curve in the tunnel was built at Farringdon to allow London Chatham and Dover Railways trains to access more of it. This curve was known as Smithfield Curve, which closed in 1916 due to the tight radius of the curve in the tunnel. In 1874, a new station was built in the current Snowfield sidings area in the Snow Hill Tunnel and this station was called Snow Hill and had an interchange with the Holden Violet Station. In 1916 the station was closed and passenger services were drawn as a cu cost cutting measure for the war effort. The Grouting of the Big Four The wider lines and Snow Hill Tunnels were inherited by three out of the four big railway companies which were the London North Eastern Railway, London Midland and Scottish Railway and Southern Railway. In 1939, the passenger services between Farringdon and Blackfriars were drawn as an economic measure due to the Second World War. These, there were military trains which made use of the snow hill tunnels and wire lines to cut as it cut off vital, vital time for the troop movements and special freight which needed to get across London and to the town port as quickly as possible to allow for the Royal Navy to the sea for as long as possible. Nationalisation and the rundown of Thameslink In the 1960s the line fell into disuse between Farringdon and Blackfriars as these had lined by freight trains and they had all dried up because of it. it was cheaper and easier to send trains via the West London lines and North London lines to get between British Rail's southern region and London Midland and eastern regions of British Rail. In 1971, the track was listed between Farringdon and Blackfriars. In 1976, the Great Northern Passenger Services between Morgan and Queen's Cross were withdrawn and replaced by services on the Northern City Lines, which has recently been acquired from London Transport. The services on the Northern City Lines used the Class 3 and 3 dual voltage electric motor towing to a top speed of 75 miles per hour. The Rebirth of Thameslink In 1978, Twisty Fell started with electrification of the mortgage to St Tanker section as part of the dead timeline electrification, which was finished in 1983. Before the insights in a class 317 4 coach electric motor units with a top speed of under miles hour, in the 1980s, Twisty Fell and South East East sector realised they could make use of the disused Snow Hill tunnels and then could sell off the land which line between Holden Violet and Black Violet for land on for office space as its services would be diverted into the refurbished and Axon Snow Hill Tunnels. During the first few months of the 1990s, section line to Holden Violet was shut and newly restored and then extended to section of Snow Hill Tunnels opened with a new station at St Paul's Thames, renamed to City Thames in 1991. Another new station at King's Cross Thames. The new Thames service used a fleet of dual voltage cars, 319, 4 coach, 100 mile tower, case of electric motor units. In 1991, the South East sector announced plans a plan called Thames 2000, which would see the Thames core upgraded. Privatisation of the Thames route. On the 2nd of March 1997, the Thameslink service ran from Dryden and Sutton in the loop, which is affectionately known as the Wall of Death by drivers in the south to Desford in the north, with advance to Morgate in the east. The first Thameslink franchise was run by Gorgia Thameslink Railway. The Thameslink inherited a fleet of 7 class 317 and 74 class 319 the Thameslink was 
maintained iconic South Central Cellhouse Depot have a duty planned blockade on the Tancred Court to allow for a new station at St Tancred's Temple to death in the Great Wall, St Tancred's International Station and replace King's Cross Temple. They made the decision to move maintenance to a new debtor in Deptford. During the franchise, Lion Street was upgraded between Earlswood and Preston Park on the Dry to Mainland, Far Sign Street, went to allow the Freeman Lines to do 100 miles out on the third rail. On the 31st of March 2006, the 10th franchise ended. That wasn't the end for Gover Thameslink Railway. The First Capital Connect Era On the 1st of April 2006, the Thameslink franchise, which had been merged with the Great Northern franchise to form the Thameslink and Great Northern franchise, which was also to the First Capital Connect. The the first castle connect fleet was made up of 44 3 coach dual authorities class 3 on 3s, 14 4 coach class 3 on 7s, 74 4 coach dual authorities class 3 on 9s, 13 4 coach class 3 to 1s, and 40 class 4 coach dual authorities class 3 6 5s. All of the fleet of first castle connect had a top speed of 100 miles per hour top on the three on trees which were 75 miles per hour. During the 2009 time change, the services were modified to allow for the enabling works for the delayed Tenzing 2000 project which had been rebranded to Tenzing program. First castle connect received a fleet of 10 class 309s from Southern and a fleet of 34 and class 377s from Southern and Don Dardier to allow for more 12 coach services in 2009, more gate branches chose to allow for the 12 coach trains which required platform extensions at Fangen across the junction. On the 30th of September 2014, the franchise finished. If you would like to know, uh, know, like to know more details as to the first category of Connect franchise, I recommend it. checking out Barry Mo's video on first category Connect, which is linked in the Video description and the card will appear in the top right hand corner with a link for the video. The return of Gover Thameslink Railway. Gover Thameslink Railway regained control of Thameslink from first classical net on the 14th of September 2014, which saw the Thameslink and Great Northern franchise merged with the Southern franchise to form the Southern Thameslink and Great Northern franchise. This saw the three lines on Thameslink resources replaced by the newly the dual voltage class 700 from German train builder Siemens, which are formed into 68 coach units and 55 12 coach units, with a 100 mph top speed. The 700s combined with the finishing of the Tamsing program 18 years late, so I into an assertion to Raynham, Essex, Cambridge, and Teterborough, just to name a few new stations. The Tamsing program also saw the introduction of lower boarding for the 700s on the Tamsing core. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this exercise of railway history. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to a train stutter from Darkshire.